Hey what's happening guys welcome to your 7th MongoDB for beginners tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can implement the ES6 promise library to use with Mongoose instead of the default one. Alright then, so in the last tutorial we saw this error right here where it says Mongoose's default promise library is deprecated, plug in your own promise library instead. So for whatever reason Mongoose doesn't want us to use the default Mongoose promise library. So what we're going to do is use ES6 promises instead. Now this is not going to be a promise tutorial. If you want to learn more about promises, I've got a whole asynchronous playlist and one particular video on promises. I'll leave a link to that playlist down below. You can check that out. So how do we implement the default ES6 promise library? Well, all we need to do is come up here at the top and I'm going to make a little comment that says ES6 promise or promises rather, whatever. And then I'm going to say mongoose dot promise with a capital P and I'm going to set that equal to the global object dot promise as well. So we're using here, this is ES6 default promise on the global object and we're setting that equal there. We're setting mongoose.promise equal to this one. So we're using the default ES6 promise instead of the mongoose promise. We're overwriting that if you like. Okay. So if we save this now and run the test again, let's just check this out. I'm going to run npm run test. This is going to run through the test again, but hopefully we're not going to see this message here this time. Okay, cool. So it still runs the test, but now we're not getting that error message about the promises. Cool. So that all works. However, check this out. Right here when we run it, it says, first of all, saving records, which is our describe block. Then it says this message right here, connection has been made, now make fireworks. Then it gives us the it block. Now, the order of this seems a little bit wonky. Ideally, we want this thing right here to be before it even gets to the describe block, okay? We want to make sure the connection is fully made before the test starts to run, and quite evidently, that's not happening. So right here, we're connecting to the database, and there's nothing telling Mongo, hey, look, I want you to wait until we've actually established a connection before you go ahead and run the test, because running the test before we make a connection is pretty stupid. So we want to sort that out. And we can do that using what's known as a hook in Mocha. So what is a hook? Well, a hook is a function which tells Mocha, look, I want you to run this section of code either before you run a test or after you run a test. OK, so we want it to run before we even start any of the tests. So how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is say little comment, first of all, connect to the database before tests run and then underneath here let's spell connect correctly underneath here what I want to say is before and then we pass through a function into here like so and then basically what's going to happen is any code in here is going to run before we even start up the tests okay so let's grab all this stuff right here cut that out and paste it in there instead. So cool, now this is gonna run before the tests run. But same again, Mongo, or rather Mongoose doesn't know when this is completed because this right here, this is an asynchronous request, right? So we need to say when it's been completed. And we know how to do that now, we can pass through this done parameter right here. So I'm gonna pass through the done parameter into this callback function. And then once we've established a connection, which is here, when it's listening for that connection, then we can call done, like so. So I'm going to save that and check it out in this thing right here. So I'll run the test again, and hopefully this time we're going to see that fireworks message at the start. OK, cool. So now we get that connection has been made at the very top. It's waiting until we've made that connection before it even moves on to the tests. Then we run the tests. Awesome. So now we've implemented this ES6 promise interface right here. We've also added this before hook, which says to Mocha, hey, wait until the connection has been made before you start running those tests. So we've done that as well. One more thing I want to mention is a couple of lessons ago, I said put up here const Mocha equals require Mocha. Uh, you don't need to do that. I was just being a plonky. You don't need to require it. Nothing like that is needed. OK, so delete that if you want. And there we go, guys. That is how we implement the ES6 promise library. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a tool called RoboMongo, which is going to give us a representation of our data in the database, because right now we've already saved a character. 
we want to actually see that data in the database because we can't see it anywhere at the minute. So we're going to use a tool called RoboMongo to do that.